Elizabeth II of the United Kingdom. Given the rationing of clothing at the time, in 1947, she still had to purchase the material using Russian coupons. The dress designed by Norman Hartnell had a star pattern fan-shaped bridal train that was 13 feet in length. It had elaborate embroidery motifs of scattered flowers on the rich satin dress, a tulle veil and a border of orange blossom around the hem. The dress featured a heart heart-shaped neckline and long tight sleeves. The material used was unusually rich, lustrous, stiff ivory satin. A diamond fringe tiara secured the veil. On the wedding day, the dress glittered, bejeweled with crystals and 10,000 seed pearls imported from the USA, skillfully worked in the flowing lines of wheat ears, a symbol of fertility. Queen Matilda of Belgium. The 1999 wedding dress's simple lines, buttoned overcoat and flared collar came from a medieval influence. The train was 15 feet long and was an elegant combination with her treasured heirloom veil, which was made from the finest Brussels lace, first worn 120 years earlier and passed down the family line ever since. Princess Claire of Belgium British-born, Belgian-raised Claire Coombs' 2003 dress was a simple design in palest cream with the satin worked into an off-the-shoulder bodice that gave way to a slightly flared full-length skirt. The top of the dress had a Chantilly lace cover providing full-length sleeves and a hint of material at the top which left the shoulders bare. Her simple skirt fanned out into a beautiful train helped by a very clever pleat which allowed the fabric to move with the bride. Claire wore the same antique veil as Mathilde, but here the lace on the veil had an overlay bodice made of Chantilly lace from Calais. Princess Metamarit of Norway on August 25, 2001, Metamarit and Prince Harkon of Norway became man and wife. The dress was created from thick custom dyed heavy ecro silk crepe and 125 meters of silk tulle. The 6 feet 2 meter long train on the dress was unusually shorter than the silk veil which was nearly 20 feet long. Rather than the traditional bouquet, the bride carried a long garland of leaves with purple and white flowers woven among them. Diana, Princess of Wales. This is the first dress that comes to mind for many people when they think of a royal wedding dress. The ivory woven silk taffeta and antique lace gown with a 25 foot train and a 153 yard teal veil was designed by David and Elizabeth Emmanuel. The dress was decorated with hand embroidery sequins and 10,000 pearls centering on a heart motif. An 18 carat full size gold horseshoe was stitched into the petticoats as a sign of good fortune. The antique lace trim was handmade Carrick Macross lace which had belonged to Queen Mary. The long train posed problems the designers realised too late that they had forgotten to allow for the train's length in relation to the size of the glass coach Diana rode in to the ceremony. They found it difficult to fit the dress inside the coach and the train was badly crushed despite Diana's best efforts. Grace Kelly, Princess of Monaco. The wedding dress of the American actress Grace Kelly, worn during her wedding to Prince Rainier III of Monaco on the 19th of April 1956 is cited as one of the most elegant of all time. It was designed by Helen Rose of MGM Studios. The dress was a bodice with an attached underbodice and skirt support. There were two petticoats, one being an attached
attached foundation. It was a high-necked, long-sleeved gown with a fitted torso and billowing skirt. The wedding attire included a headdress, veil, shoes, and the lace and pearl-encrusted prayer book which she carried down the aisle. The dress materials included 25 yards of silk taffeta, 100 yards of silk net, peau de soie, tulle and 125 year old Brussels rose point lace. The Julia cap that she wore was bejeweled with seed pearls and orange blossoms. The veil made of tulle measured 90 yards. Princess Margaret of the United Kingdom The 1960 wedding dress was designed by Norman Hartnell and was made from silk organza. The skirt comprised some 30 metres of fabric. Hartnell specifically kept the adornment of the dress such as the crystal embellishments and beading to a minimum in order to suit Margaret's petite frame. Vogue described the dress as stunningly tailored. Another author called it a study in simplicity and Life magazine named it the simplest royal wedding gown in history. Princess Charlotte of Wales Charlotte was the sole child of the disastrous and bitter marriage between King George IV of the United Kingdom and Caroline of Brunswick. She was a popular princess and her marriage to Prince Leopold in 1816 was greeted with much excitement. It became the first royal wedding for which souvenirs were made widely available to the public. Her dress was the height of fashion. It featured an empire line and was ankle length. It shimmered from the combined effect of a net dress with silver embroidery and a white and silver petticoat underneath. The fabric was made of real woven gold and silver threads. The dress was adorned with flowers at the hem and Brussels lace around the neckline and sleeves. The trim was made of the same material as the petticoat. Charlotte draped herself in diamonds, including some in her hair. Altogether, her full outfit cost over £10,000, which would be over £800,000 today. Queen Anne-Marie of Greece the 1964 Jorgen Bender silk dress isn't overdone. The gown is relatively unadorned with lace detail on the skirt. Anne-Marie's lace veil extended over her long train and was anchored in place by the Khedive of Egypt Cartier Tiara, a gem that has been worn by all of Queen Ingrid of Denmark's female descendants on their wedding days. Princess Carolina of Bourbon Palma. Her 2012 gown featured cup sleeves and a bodice in lace which parted over the slim skirt to create a flowing train. It included heirloom lace from the Dutch royal family. She borrowed the laurel wreath tiara for the day, a classic diamond piece in the Greek laurel wreath design. Crown Princess Victoria of Sweden Victoria's 2010 dress was made of cream duchess silk satin. The rounded collar is nearly off the shoulder and includes small sleeves. A sash at the waist transitions the dress to the slim line skirt with a small incorporated train. At the back the rounded collar ends in a V shape and buttons close the dress. A nearly 5 metre detachable train extends from the waist and includes a small amount of embellished detail around its edge. She wore the family heirloom lace veil and the cameo tiara, a beautiful historic piece dating back to Empress Josephine. Kate Middleton, Duchess of Cambridge the ivory satin bodice was padded slightly at the hips, 
and narrowed at the waist. It incorporated floral motifs cut from British machine-made lace, which were appliqued onto the silk net. The main body of the dress was made in ivory and white satin gazar, with a long full skirt designed to echo an opening flower with soft pleats which unfolded to the floor, forming a Victorian style semi-bustle at the back and finishing in a train. To partially fulfil the something blue portion of the British wedding tradition, a blue ribbon was sewn inside the dress. The design for the bodice of the dress featuring lace in the style of the 19th century was the something old. Crown Princess Mary of Denmark Mary's 2004 dress was made of ivory duchess satin with a mother of pearl sheen, fully lined with silk organza. The scoop neckline just touched on the shoulders before descending into sleeves that wrapped the arm like a lily and a slim fit bodice. Mary had her mother's wedding ring stitched in near her heart. Her bouquet, which included eucalyptus to honour her Aussie roots, was taken to Scotland to rest on the grave of her mother and grandparents. The most unique feature of the dress was the skirt, where panels of the satin opened from her hip to reveal 8 metres of heirloom lace. The back of the skirt keeps its fullness thanks to 31 metres of tulle edged in French Chantilly lace then features a detachable train. Infanta Cristina of Spain The bride wore a 1997 Lorenzo Capriol dress featuring princess line silhouette crafted from silk specially made in Valencia. It's a very simple design with a few standout features. The dress seems to feature little to no ornamentation, but there's actually an embroidered silver detail at the empire line of the waist. The design is carried through on the trains. The train itself is about 3 metres long. It also features an off-the-shoulder neckline, an interesting feature given we usually hear that the first component of a royal wedding dress is that it must cover the shoulders to be respectful of the church. Sarah Duchess of York she wore a dress made from ivory duchess satin that featured heavy beading for her wedding to Prince Andrew, Duke of York, on the 23rd of July 1986 at Westminster Abbey. The beadwork incorporated various symbols including hearts representing romance, anchors and waves representing Prince Andrew's sailing background and bumblebees and thistles which were taken from Sarah Ferguson's family heraldry. A notable feature of Sarah's 17 foot long train was the intertwined initials A and S sewn in silver beads. Silver beads were also used on the headdress and bouquet. Princess Charlene of Monaco she wore an off-the-shoulder Armani silk gown which took three seamstresses 2,500 hours to make. The skirt of the gown folded out to a shorter train while the crossover neckline extended into a longer train on top. Down the front of the dress, the bottom of the skirt and the centre of the train were 40,000 Swarovski crystals, 20,000 mother of pearl teardrops and 30,000 gold stones, all stitched in a floral pattern with platinum coated embroidery thread. The detailing alone took 700 hours to complete. The veil also featured light embroidery on 20 metres of off-white silk tulle. Princess Heiyu The lavish wedding ceremony was in line with the traditions of Javanese culture, prompting the bride and groom and all in attendance to wear traditional Javanese wedding style outfits. 
Both the bride and groom's faces were painted and adorned with intricate headdresses and pieces of jewellery. The colourful traditional wear also prompted the groom to attend his wedding topless. While both of them were adorned in vibrant and regal gold accented wraps, attendants carried bright peacock feathers which added to the festive tone. Princess Anne The 1973 dress worn by Princess Anne was designed by Maureen Baker. The dress was an embroidered Tudor style wedding dress with a high collar and medieval sleeves. The train was embroidered by Lux Embroiderers. The 23 year old bride designed the dress herself. Compared to previous royal wedding dresses, it was described as simplistic and was noted as being close to contemporary 1970s wedding fashion. The dramatic trumpet sleeves were edged in pearls and draped over pleated chiffon cuffs to create their shape. Though simple in appearance, the gown did have some significant ornamentation. The neck and the top featured rows of pearls and the back and train of the gown featured orange blossom embroidery in pearls and silver thread. Queen Sophia of Spain Sophia wore a 1962 white dress with silver sheen covered in layers of heirloom lace and tulle. The dress itself was rather simple in design with fitted three-quarter length sleeves, a flared skirt and a dual neckline. The 20 feet long white organza train extended from the neck of the dress. Sophia's veil consisted of 15 feet of heirloom lace. Queen Frederica had worn the same veil when she married Paul of Greece in 1938. The dress was made in Greece by Greek seamstresses at the bride's request. Meghan Markle, Duchess of Sussex the 2018 dress was made of silk with three-quarter length sleeves, an open boat neckline and a train with built-in triple silk organza underskirt. A double bonded silk caddy for the construction of the six-seam dress was developed. The dress was without lace or any other embellishments. A piece of the blue dress from her first date with Prince Harry was stitched into the bridal gown. The dress was augmented by a long 5 metre 16 feet veil, hand embellished with individual flowers representing the 53 countries of the Commonwealth and symbolic crops of wheat. It was 3 metres wide and the veil took 500 hours to create. Queen Margareta of Denmark her 1967 silk gown came from the royal courtier Jorgen Bender. The silk dress featured a flared skirt, long sleeves and a square neckline. The front showcased several family traditions. The lace down the centre is a piece of lace passed down from Crown Princess Margaret of Sweden. This lace, along with another narrow piece of lace, has been used on various family wedding gowns. The 6 metre long train descended from her shoulders and ended with an unusual squared edge detail which echoed the gown's neckline. The lace was accented with her centrally positioned brooch which was a wedding gift to Queen Ingrid from her father in honour of her mother. Princess Marina of Greece and Denmark the bride's 1932 gown was in white and silver silk brocade and worked on by a team of seamstresses. The dress featured sheath silhouette, draped cowl neckline, trumpet sleeves and a white train. A tiara was given to her as a wedding gift which secured the tulle veil in place. Elizabeth Bowes Lion the Queen Mother. 
Her 1923 gown was crafted by Madame Handley Seymour, a court dressmaker for Queen Mary, but it certainly wasn't your typical court dress. The design followed the Coco Chanel dictated trends of the time, dropped waists and straight silhouettes. The gown is silk crepe moi, embellished extensively with pearls and silver embroidery. The detail and weight of the decoration gives the dress an almost medieval feel. Her veil, which was loaned to her by Queen Mary, covered her head almost as a hat would and fell cloak-like at her sides. She anchored it with a band of myrtle and a york rose on either side, rather than the tiara we'd expect today. Since her gown was short-sleeved, she had a wrap to guard her against the April weather. Princess Lala Salma of Morocco The marriage of Mohammed VI and Salma changed the history of royal marriages in Morocco. Traditionally, the wife of the king hasn't had a public role to play. Moroccan kings have typically been polygamists, prone to secret marriages to wives who remain private figures. In 1999, they announced their engagement. Not only did the king announce that he was marrying, he identified his bride and released a picture of Salma, a Moroccan who worked in IT when they met at a party in 1999. They married in a private ceremony on March 21, 2002. The bride dressed traditionally, including donning a thick veil for a portion of the ceremonies. She let her signature red locks cascade down around her and topped them off with a diamond tiara. Princess Michael of Kent the couple married on the 30th of June 1978, surrounded only by close family. The bride wore a Belleville Sassoon cream silk crepe gown. The dress had a pin tucked bodice, a deep neckline with see-through panel and lace trim. There was a small train and the skirt of the dress had inserts of Chantilly lace. Christina of Sweden. The 1974 white silk crepe gown has a wrap style top and v neck, bell sleeves, and bands accenting the waist and slim skirt. The gown also included an attached train. She wore Queen Sophia's lace veil and the Connor tiara. Princess Alice, Duchess of Gloucester. Alice did not want to marry in a pure white dress. She wore a satin gown in a pearl pink shade with a matching teal veil and a cluster of orange blossoms at the neckline. On her head she wore a crystal headdress, specially made for the day instead of a regular tiara. Simonetta Gomez Acebo a 1990 dress with a court train measuring over 20 feet. A simple white silk confection of Christian Dior. It was designed to showcase Queen Marie Christine's pearl and diamond tiara. The same tiara worn by her mother at her wedding. Empress Masako of Japan on the morning of the 1993 wedding, Masako's body was purified in an ancient ritual. Next, court ladies dressed her in the formal bridal attire, the Juni Hito, which literally means 12 layered garment. The 30 pound silk kimono with a white brocade train took three hours to put on and cost over 300,000 pounds. Masako's hair was arranged in classic style with long artificial strands added down her back. Princess Lillian, Duchess of Holland Lillian Craig was a Welsh-born model and aspiring actress. She first met Prince Bertel of Sweden in 1943 and they fell in love. 
33 years later they were finally allowed to marry. He was 64 and she 61. The bride wore an ice blue silk shantung cord dress with bell sleeves made for her by her longtime friend and designer Elizabeth Wondra. She accessorized with blue feathers in her hair, pearl and diamond jewelry and a bouquet of lilies of the valley. She became Princess Lillian Duchess of Holland and would eventually be honoured with Sweden's highest order of chivalry, the Order of the Seraphim. Princess Nejla Bint Assem The bride who was the great-granddaughter of King Abdul I of Jordan wore a shimmering floor-length gown for the nuptials which glimmered under the lights with its intricate beading and embroidery finished with their nipped-in belt and crystal-encrusted sheer sleeves. Catherine Worsley, the Duchess of Kent the bride's 1961 wedding dress designed by John Kavner on the recommendation of her future mother-in-law was made of 237 yards of French-made white silk. It featured a tight bodice, stiff neckline and a full skirt with a 15-foot double train. She anchored her white tulle veil with a diamond tiara which belonged to the bridegroom's late grandmother, Queen Mary. Queen Sonja of Norway In many ways, it is a typical design of the time, 1968. The silk gown is structural yet simple, with a high round neck, bell-shaped skirt and three-quarter length bell sleeves to match. The pearl ornamentation around the cuffs of the sleeves and the neck is restrained. A long train fastens at her shoulders and widens as it extends back to a squared edge and her tulle veil extends the length of the train. Though Sonja would soon have some of the grandest tiaras at her disposal, she crowned her veil with a white artificial floral ornamentation. Princess Helena of the United Kingdom She wore a dress of white satin featuring deep flounces of lace. The design featured roses, ivy and myrtle for her marriage to Prince Christian of Schleswig-Holstein on the 5th of July 1866 at Windsor Castle. Her headpiece was composed of orange blossom and myrtle and the veil was also made of lace. She also wore a necklace, earrings and brooch of opals and diamonds, a wedding gift from her mother, Queen Victoria. Along with bracelets set with miniatures, Helena also wore the Order of Victoria and Albert. Caroline, Princess of Hanover in 1978, 21-year-old Princess Caroline married 38-year-old playboy Philippe Juno. For her wedding gown, she turned to Mark Bohan at Christian Dior. The end result was not precisely the original design intent. Last-minute changes had to be made after details of the bride's look was leaked. Her wedding dress was very of the era with a billowing waistline, flowing sleeves and floral accents. The long veil was changed at the last minute for a much shorter one. Queen Rainier of Jordan Rainier chose British designer Bruce Oldfield to create her 1993 wedding look, drawing on inspiration from the embellishments on Syrian formal dresses exhibited at the Victoria and Albert Museum in London. The designer added gold detailing to the trim of the bride's voluminous dress matching hair ornament and gloves. The dress had exaggerated lapels, short sleeves and a large belt. The skirt was full with folds and extended into a train at the back, a veil attached not to a tiara but a headband. Princess Ayeko of Takamado 
She wore a pale yellow traditional court kimono with red flowers and green leaves embroidered on it and a rich purple hakama, a wide leg and length pants. Underneath, her hair was styled in an elegant traditional look for a noble woman. For the indoor ceremony, she changed into a more formal kochiki or small cloak that featured brightly hued floral accents embroidered over a brilliant red silk and it fell to the ground behind her as she walked. Paula, Queen of Belgium Paula's gown was made of specially woven heavy satin. The dress featured a 5 metre long train and a bow at the waist accented with a small brooch. The standout feature is her veil, a family heirloom first worn by her Belgium grandmother and made so fittingly of Brussels lace. Since Paula brought the veil home, the family tradition has continued, with her daughter and two daughters-in-law wearing it at their weddings. Paula wore a small cluster of orange blossoms in lieu of a tiara with her grand veil. Lady Sarah Chateau she may have had a queen for a grandmother and a queen for an aunt, but Lady Sarah Armstrong Joneses, the daughter of Princess Margaret and Lord Snowden's 1994 wedding, wasn't really a royal affair. It was held in a church instead of a large cathedral in front of 200 guests instead of 2,000, and the dress was a custom creation from Jasper Conran. It had a square neckline with yard of white georgette draped over the corset bodice and down the skirt and train. The dress inspiration came from a 16th century Holbein portrait. Sarah went with older bridesmaids than is typical for a British royal wedding and she dressed them in much the same dress as herself. Sarah's veil was anchored with the Snowden floral tiara. To enhance the floral effect, some greenery was added amongst the diamond flowers. Personally, this and Princess Sophia of Sweden's dress are two of my favourites. Beatrice Borromeo she wore an ivory-coloured dress with a flared silhouette in Chantilly lace. The silk chiffon layered gown had a sweep train extending from the waist and was paired with a delicate silk teal veil with the Chantilly lace border. And this concludes the video. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please click the like button, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe for future videos. Thank you.